Okay, I'm going to answer this question fairly quickly. So uh, stop and take notes. Stop the video and take take notes uh, when you need to. But we're trying to solve this problem right here. We're going to rotate this red region about the axis of revolution, the line y equals 2. This is the line y equals 2. And here's it like an indication of what a typical shell looks like, although this picture shows the shells being created by revolving around the uh, x-axis instead of the line y equals 2. But here's the thing you need to remember. When you're using the shell method, a typical shell is parallel to the axis of revolution. So here's the axis of revolution. Here, if I add another little line right here, we can see the thickness of the shell. But that's going to be horizontal in this case. Uh, and that means to get horizontal distances, we have to have x in terms of y. So here's the original functions. And we need to solve for x so that we have an x distance in terms of y which is what I did here. And then you have to find these points of intersection, which has happened by setting the square root of x equal to 1 half x and solving for x. Two points. Okay, and our typical shells will be occurring in the interval from 0 to 2 along the y-axis. That's where we're integrating. So the shell method says that we're going to get the volume. It's 2 pi times the definite integral from, in this case, 0 to 2 along the y-axis times, now what is this 2y minus y squared? Well, that's the, this, the length of this red segment, or infinitely many segments along the interval from 0 to 2. And we can find that horizontal distance by taking the x-coordinate at the right minus the x-coordinate at the left which is y squared. So 2y minus y squared. Another way to think about it is this total distance is 2y take away the dashed distance, which is y squared. So I just like to think of it, a horizontal distance is represented by the x-coordinate at the right minus the x-coordinate at the left. And then this is the height or the radius of a typical shell, I should say. And that's a vertical distance. So it's the y-coordinate at the top, which is always 2, minus the y-coordinate at the bottom, which is just y. So by taking 2 minus y, we've got this height right here, or this radius right here, radius of a typical shell. So... Um, that's how you set up the integral. Now, we're not going to evaluate it, but I want you to show you on Desmos, if I set up the definite integral using the shell method, I get the same answer as if I use the washer method. Now, what is the washer method? Well, it's pi times the definite integral from 0 to 4 of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared gives us the same answer. In some cases, one method is much easier than the other method. In this case, nah, they're both about the same. Okay, so that hopefully gives you some idea of how to set up your uh, definite integral or the shell method. And uh, you'll be learning the, the washer method too. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.